And our Health Watch report, a team of researchers are working to stop dangerous cancer cells from spreading. Local 3's Shelley Bota has more. The five-year survival rate for someone with stage one colon cancer is 92%, but the five-year survival rate for someone with stage four is just 12%. Scientists are now looking at whether a tube of blood holds the key to stopping the spread of cancer. Beth McCaw McKinney did everything right. She ate healthy, she exercised, she always did like her, you know, breast cancer, um, you know, uh, exams and pap smears, all that was on time. But then at age 53, she had her first colonoscopy. They found a um, grapefruit sized tumor in, in her colon. It was already in her lymph nodes and, and basically had spread. Doctors gave Beth three months to live. She lived three years. Professor Annette Khalid and her team study metastatic cancer cells and are looking to help people like Beth. Thanks to a donation from Beth's family, they now have a new weapon in their fight against cancer, a cell search system. The cell search is a system that uses uh, blood, patient, uh, blood from cancer patients and uh, we're able to detect the circulating tumor cells. These are cancer cells that have spread to other parts of the body. The system allows them to separate, analyze, and count the number of these cells. It can detect as few as two to three cancer cells in a teaspoon of blood. With that information, they can try to understand what are the steps and what are the changes that cells undergo, cancer cells undergo from the tumor to become a circulating tumor cell. And look into and how can we use, develop therapies to inhibit or prevent these circulating tumor cells. And stop the spread of cancer in its track. According to Khalid, doctors can test the number of circulating tumor cells to determine how far a person's cancer has advanced with the hope to determine if a particular therapy is working. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 3 News.